We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. So the Bronx Bombers look for their seventh straight victory next. Tyler Glasnow will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Leading Stepping up to the, the plate, Yankees. Brett Gardner. The He'll get us started in this one Brett under the lights. Gardner. He's set and the pitch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, hey, Dero, this has not been the kind of homestand that they would like to have so far. Through the first five games, they're two and three. Dero, getting to 500 on this homestand is certainly one thing they'd like to do here today. Yeah, they can salvage a little bit right now. They can walk out of here today with a smile on their face if they can get this back to 500 in these first six games. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Ani pops it up. Wendell has a play, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Got it, got it. The football. Labor four. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. He's gone three for six. Now the pitch. Popped him up. Adamas is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting third. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron Judge. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. Here's the first pitch to him. Good off speed pitch had him out in front for strike one. And there's ball one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And he has been, pardon the cliche, in fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is low, ball one.
Judge. The runner at first with two gone. A ball and a strike. And he fouls this one off. The one two is laid off for ball two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Hit hard up the middle. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard good. single up the middle. The yeah, watch your lips right, right. there, Dan. Sent it Caught. back right where it came from. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He'll enter play here at 304. Two home runs and seven driven in. Come set the 0 1. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The set and the 1 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. That's a well placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Ready with the one, two. Two balls, two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Yanks strand a pair. Yankees nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jordan Montgomery gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you want to know if this guy's one of the better pitchers in the league? Well, how about this? Batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year, so he's done a good job against both righties and lefties. And I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. And he takes this one high, one and one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. The one two that's lifted the other way out to left. Tuckman is there and he has it for the out. Batting second, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. But the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Jose Martinez. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Aye. 
One out, nobody on. That's and this ball. is high, a ball and a strike. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? And this is taken for the out. Batting third. The right fielder. Off there. Meadows. Into the box now. Austin Meadows. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Meadows a native of Georgia. He's in his third season as a major league player. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off and it's 1 and 2. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball. You gotta be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Hit in the air out to center field. Gardner's after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Rays go in order one, two, three. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Riding into the box, Gary Sanchez will match up with Tyler Glass now to lead off the inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. He's set and the two and nothing pitch. Two balls. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Three and one to him now. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Another one sent foul. The next three, two. Popped him up. And this is taken in for out number one. That is seven. The third baseman. Gio Urshela. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Here comes the first pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball.
grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tuck, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Luke Voigt comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Runners on first with one down. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Reined in. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Last half of the second set to go. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Hunter Renfro. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Renfro. Now here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. And right into the shift. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting fifth. Not shortstop. Willie Adame. So striding in, Willie Adamas. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. The pitch. Hey. I know he stole a strike right there, but he better be careful with that curveball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. And if he stays back, he's going to drive that thing with some serious authority. And he misses with it one and one. One oh. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Bottom of the second here with no score. Three oh, and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here's the pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Here now is Mike Zanino. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch on its way. 
A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Ball, that's out. A runner on first with two away. And there's a swing and a miss, two and one now. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Kevin Kiermeyer would be next. Heading out towards shallow right. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. We'll move to the third with no score. Striding in, Tyler Wade. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. Count one and oh. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Chopper down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0 and 2 now. Gardner, a native of South Carolina. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this okay. long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. And the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Third inning, no score to this point. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Hey, this is a huge at-bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have 3-4-5 due up to start the next inning. The 3-0 pitch. And nope. this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Well, they were obviously now pitching that. around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Nope. Too low, 1-0.
from the stretch. Oh, that's off the plate. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. A base hit in his first trip. Come set the 0 1. Two men are on with two men out. Oh. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. The set and the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. The two two pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Yanks strand a pair. Home half of the third coming up. No score. We're back now as the Rays lineup readies for their third turn with the bats, and unfortunately for them, this club has had its issues on offense. One major factor in their struggles has been the strikeout. Entering the day, they have more strikeouts than any other team in the league, leading a member of the coaching staff to tell me, without a doubt, it's something we have to rectify. Strikeouts happen, but sometimes it feels like we're losing focus and just flailing up there, and that can't happen. That's something for us to keep an eye on with this club, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. For the, Ray, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Here it comes. Kevin Kiermeyer is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Like that pitch there. Lefty on lefty matchup. Curve ball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one. One one takes a pitch for strike number two. I got to count one and two. No oh, offer at the curve yeah. that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting nut, the first baseman, Gago Robertson. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Daniel Robertson, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The pitch. Ball, Ball one, no strike. Oh, that's it. The 2-0. Oh. Exactly. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. 
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Now at the plate, Joey Wendell flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the stretch. That's a ball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. That's lifted the other way out to left. Tuckman is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now back the designated hitter. Jose Martinez. So a runner at first with two away and up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. From the belt the pitch. All one. The 1 0 home hit in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One left for Tampa. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the fourth. Standing in, Mike Talkman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. In there, 0 and 1. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Renfro a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now that so with that, that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here you would stride to the plate for this AB trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball. Can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And this one is gone. A home run. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 11 for him on the season as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. I know height sights 2020 but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget he homered yesterday so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Gio. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Here's the 1 0. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane, as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. Hey he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Liner toward right center and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. 
Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And you can see that he's had it working here in the first two months of the year, currently leading the AL in that category. Into the box, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And the 3 1. Three and now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full 3 and 2. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Count still full 3 and 2. Another full count pitch home. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number nine on the year as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Now batter. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Three runs already home here. Pitch popped up. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The one-two. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Oh, and no time to get him at first. Not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. And hey, that's great hustle right, right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Brendan McKay answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Here's Brett Gardner now. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Still only one out in the inning. 
And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Hit hard back up the middle. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now, now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Eight games. Cool. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. First and second now, one man out. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. one, ball, one ball. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. One one home. Ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The two one is ball. a fastball taken high for a ball. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And it's full now, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Riding in once again, Austin Meadows. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. The 1 0. On the ground to the right side. Reined in. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now back. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Here's the first pitch to him. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And this will get on out to the 370 sign now. The relay. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Not your stop. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. In now, Willie Adamas. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Home run number two for him on the year. And the Rays get a bit closer. It's now a three-to-two ball game. 
Well, they were a lot more comfortable up three than they are now, only up by one. That just goes to show you one pitch, one two-run shot, and the entire complexion of a game can change just like that. At the plate, Brandon Lau. Number eight. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. Two runs on two hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A ball and two strikes now. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. Yes, One and two, you're probably Mike. expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. So here's Mike Zanino. As he'll watch a first-pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two run home run. We played four, it's now a 3 2 ball game. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Judge. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Now the 1 0. He's outside for a ball. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's two and one. Pitch on the way. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hey. And it's up to a three two full count now. Got three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. In there, a base hit. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Oh one here's the pitch and this is hit hard to the right side foul fifth inning of play here in a three two ball game and he popped him up Meadows coming in on it he can't get to it this one's down and he is in there 
It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. Standing in now, Mike Talkman as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. He pulls this one into right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Gary Sanchez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, in his last at-bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Out in front of it, strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees four. The Rays two. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Ray. Ready for Let's another chance, field. Kevin Kiermaier, yeah, as we move past the Kiermaier. halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The 1-0. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. At the plate now, Daniel Robertson. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The average sits at 286 here to start play. One home run and eight runs batted in. The 1-0. Misses oh, above the fly. zone for a ball. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' yeah, first baseman. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Lifted in the air out to right. Heading after it is Judge. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batter, the third baseman. 
Fuego. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High and deep to right. Judge is going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. Still down by a count of four to two. At the plate, Gio Urshela. Two base hits, both singles to this point. The third base point. Gio Urshela. And the pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Slow grounder to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The bat, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Now the 1 0. Ah. One and one. One out, nobody on. And he lays off the pitch down. down and away. Ball two. And he lays off again, ball three. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hit on the ground to short. Adamez scoops it up. Throw gets him, two down. Now that second baseman, Tyler Wade. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Wade. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Shocked he didn't oh, let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Slow roller out to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. One and no pitch on the way. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two ball count. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. One strike, the count. Now a move over to first, and the runner back. Ready with two balls and a strike. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. 
you have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Nice approach by the batter right there. When you know your boy is moving, you start seeing stuff happening out of your peripheral vision. Wait for him to lock in, stay within his at-bat, not swing at something outside the zone, and now put it first to the third. Stepping in now, Torres. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Yanks strand a pair as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. 0 1. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The two one home. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on deck circle as long as you can. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now batting. The right field. Off there. So striding forward now, Austin Meadows. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One, no the 1 0 home. Misses oh, ball man. two. Too tight oh, with that God. one. 3 and 0. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. He's set. Here it comes. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Runner back safely.
ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Now that is good stop. Really good job. So now to the plate, Willie Adamas. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's one for two in this one. The 1-0. -oh. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Runners are at first and third, one away. Three and oh now. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. <laughs> Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley and here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score on the sack fly as this lead is trimmed to 4-3 now. Now that is ready once again, Brandon Lau. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull a string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be super aggressive. Ready with the 0 1. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Two out with the man at first. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. The Yankees lead it four to three. Your Diego Castillo lead. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 63, Diego Castillo. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat. Back up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Help for the anchor. The designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's out. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The 1 0 -oh. is laid off, but in there for strike one. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking either. 
And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. As he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Fouled off. Now the two one. Drill down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3 2 pitch. Fouled away. The next 3 2. And another foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at bat. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. Another payoff pitch. Six fouls in a row. This is turning into one of those epic at bats. Who's going to blink first? Is the pitcher going to continue to attack the zone or is the hitter going to come outside it? Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Seven foul balls in a row. Okay, come on now. This is getting a little ridiculous. Don't be shocked if the pitcher throws the rosin bag at this one. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three, and it remains a four, three game. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tommy. Bottom of the inning now, so stepping in, Mike Sanino. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He's set, and the pitch. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Aye. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now batter. Up next for the Rays, Kevin Kiermeyer. Oh, for two for him to this point. First offering on its way. Ah. 
0-1. Here it comes. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box now, Daniel Robertson. As he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Comes set and the 0 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, four to three. Colin Poche has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 38, Colin Stepping up now, Gary Sanchez. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. The catcher, Gary Here's the first pitch to him. Whoa, that pitch is out. Now the 1 0. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The batter. The third base. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two third starters. Shema. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Stepping into the box, Gio Urshela. He's two for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Renfro is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now batting the first base. Luke Boyd. Into the box. Luke Voigt is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Four three our score here as we play the eighth. Now a curveball misses inside. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Now the pitch. Oh, that's out. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hold on to a 4-3 lead.
Adam Ottavino is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Joey Wendell. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Slider bends into the middle of the strike zone, taken for a strike. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Right side. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now battle, the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. Coming to the plate now, Jose Martinez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside, that's the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Okay. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. in a strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And it misses. Three and one now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The 3-1. Three, one. Three, one out, nobody on. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. So a runner at first now with one away, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. The 2-1. Drive and that's a base hit in the center field. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one he blew right by him. Second one timing was on point. He was able to get a hit. Renfro. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays left fielder. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. The 2-1 is strike two swinging. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. In now, Willie Adamas. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 0 1 offering. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. That misses, and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. The set and the 2-2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and the Rays are kept off the scoreboard here as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We've played eight full. The Yankees lead this one four to three. Jose Alvarado enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Okay. Alvarado. Stepping into the box, Tyler Wade. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled off. Alvarado is a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the park. It's a rare day that someone takes him deep, which obviously makes him a very valuable commodity in the bullpen. One of the things as a manager you want to do, you want to bring a reliever in and know that he can keep the ball in the ballpark, and this guy does a great job of that. He's near impossible to get the ball in the air to lift for a home run, okay, and it's one of the reasons why he's a real effective relief pitcher. 
He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Fouled away. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one so now we go full count. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. A payoff pitch one more time. Popped him up. Adamas is calling for it. One away. The center field of the eleven. Brett Gardner. Digging in and looking for more, Brett Gardner. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. From the stretch, first pitch is a slider down low. It's one and oh. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batter, the shortstop. Labor Torres. Standing in, Torres. They could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. Strike taken. Good bender on the outside there. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two Fastball two. well outside. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That 0 2 pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. Came out, so it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they hang on to a one run lead, four to three.
your attention, please. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Stepping in, Brandon Love. He'll be the one to greet Chapman, who looks to put an end to this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Chapman, a 6 4 lefty. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level, so he certainly puts together a nice career in professional baseball. Strike taken up in the zone. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Standing in now, Mike Zanino. Swing and a ball line hard towards short, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Up next for Tampa Bay, the center fielder, Tampa Kiermaier. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He went down on strikes last time up. Chapman sets. Here's the first pitch. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. A full count to the Rays center fielder. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Yanks took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jordan Montgomery with his fourth win this season. Tyler Glasnow couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen, his sixth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.